really the advice for showreels is make them short and brilliant makes these very concise and succinct. We don't want five page documents. Again, nobody will read it, nobody will look at them. So it's really about making sure that you're demonstrating quality quickly. That's the thing really to look for. CVs, again, short and sweet. I think, you know, two page maximum. I just assume that only people are gonna read the first page and uh, keep everything up top so that, you know, your work experience relevant at the top and your, your software skills and your aims and then everything else like your newspaper round etc right at the bottom. If you're putting together a, a written CV, just lots of images, make it look nice, make it look well designed, it makes us think that you're a visual creative person but really it's more about what you're showing us in terms of work. If you've got a bit of experience obviously put it on there. The trick with CVs with reels, if you're applying for a specialist and make sure that you are highlighting that fact. If you are applying in a more generalist role, again, highlight that fact. It is important because companies do differ in what they need to recruit. So it's worth making sure that you do actually take account of that. Check spelling, check CVs, check it reads well and that people understand what you're trying to get across. I think the showreel is absolutely key and the thing that most people will look at first. In fact some companies I believe don't even look at CVs. So really make sure your reel is bang on. So make sure it's really clearly labelled and also just have that flow. Imagine you're giving it to somebody, how they're going to watch it because they might only have two minutes. Don't put all your work on it. Um, put on your very, very best bit. If you have 10 seconds that's really good and then 40 seconds that's average and then you shove your first year project on there which is poor, we don't know which animator we're getting. Is it the animator that can animate that or is it? We don't know what order you've done them in. We don't know where you're at. When looking uh, at graduate CVs or, or work, I think it's just um, the more personal stuff that they're doing themselves. So the more you know, a drawing book or just a passion for animation or illustration or drawing or something else that just moves them above someone who's just done a few things to try and get a job. This is someone that will excel and grow within that team.